I think what we are seeing now, what unfolds in front of our eyes, uh, is a genocidal situation uh, by which people are targeted, uh, whether they are children, babies, uh, in hospital or in schools. And uh, this is a massive operation of killing, of ethnic cleansing, uh, of depopulation. The pretext for that kind of savagery is revenge for what the Hamas did on the 7th of October. But I think the real intention here is not just revenge, but trying to exploit what happened on the 7th of October to create new realities uh, and historical uh, Palestine. You called it uh, uh, a new Nakba. I think that this is the Nakba has never really ended for the Palestinians. So it's a new horrific chapter in the ongoing Nakba. Uh, that the Palestinians are suffering uh, uh, here. I think the main uh, attempt here is to make sure that people do not understand the context in which the Hamas operation uh, occurred. To totally dishistoricize uh, that event, to forget about the 15 years of the inhuman siege on Gaza, or 56 years of the ruthless occupation and ethnic cleansing in the West Bank and 75 years of not allowing refugees to come back uh, to their homes. I think this is an attempt to Nazify the Palestinians. The Nazification of the Palestinians is meant to, first of all, license Israeli policies without any consideration to international law uh, or, or human rights, and secondly, to divert us from talking about the real issue here, which is not uh, the Hamas or uh, its uh, actions on the 7th of October, but rather the situation that uh, bred this kind of violence. Uh, rather than talking about the symptom of violence, we should talk about the source of violence. And the source of violence has not changed. We have millions of Palestinians for years being oppressed, ruled and controlled by, by Israel, and they are fighting with the means that they have, uh, and this is going to go on uh, unless, of course, there is a willingness to go back to the uh, negotiation table.